Tonight, the Biden administration is taking the most significant step to strengthen background checks for gun purchases in more than 30 years. The Justice Department today announcing a new rule that aims to close the so-called gun show loophole. CBS Scott McFarland has the new details. The nation's 80,000 licensed gun sellers already run background checks on buyers. The new rule announced by the Biden administration will now require unlicensed dealers selling at gun shows or online to do the same. Do you have a sense of how many there are, hundreds, thousands of unlicensed dealers? By the things we're seeing, there are tens of thousands of unlicensed dealers in firearms out there. The ATF says the loophole is exploited by felons and Mexican drug cartels. And that's how an increasing number of firearms are getting to the street in the hands of the wrong people and being used to shoot and kill people. A recent government report found that guns trafficked through unlicensed dealers were used in 368 shootings over five years. It won't have saved my son or what happened at Sandy Hook, but it will help in so many other occasions. Nicole Hockley's son Dylan was killed in the Sandy Hook school shooting in Connecticut in 2012. The amount of crimes that have happened through trafficking of guns that are bought through illegal means without background checks is huge. A bipartisan gun safety law passed after the shootings at Robb Elementary in Uvalde, Texas two years ago empowered the ATF to write today's rule. But one Republican who helped draft the bill says the Biden administration went too far. It'll take 20 years to recover from this crap. Arguing it'll stop law-abiding citizens from buying guns. We were bipartisan. They're bipartisan hacks. And this it will be used as an example of why they don't trust an administration to do it in the future. Republican senators say they'll try to pass new law to block this rule, but that stands no chance in the Democratic-controlled U.S. Senate. The White House also predicts legal challenges. The gun owners of America have threatened suit. But, Nora, this rule takes effect one month from today. It's a really interesting story. Scott McFarland, thank you.